This is what you do, ladies and gentlemen. It's this easy. You just draw the card that you need. Hello and welcome back to Bad Magic with the citrus fruit who has all the juice, Moldy Kumquat. Now, today we are playing Demir Midrange. Um, I wanted to play Lazav, Wearer of Faces. Coolest name ever. Um, but um, that was the main reason that I decided to build this deck. Um, other than that, uh, it's got all your normals, uh, the Bat, uh, Preacher of Schism, Gix, Urtai for some, uh, you know, extra juice, Shouldered, Alcots, etc. I think the deck uh, ran pretty smoothly, um, and uh, I think you should try it out. Uh, so, we did end up going 6-4 and four over our 10 games. Um, and 60% is always good. It, that will guarantee that you are always on the rise, which is what we want when we're climbing up the ladder. Anyway, before we get into the games, I do want to give a quick reminder of our goal of 50 subscribers. We are almost there. We are only 14 away, so let's get it. I also wanted to point out that about 88% of you guys that are watching are not subscribing, so please take that half a second to hit that subscribe button. Maybe even hit the like on the video and give me a comment below letting me know what you think. Anyway, the time for talking is over. The time for playing is now. This looks pretty good, I think. I'm interested to see how this deck runs. Looks like we're playing up against a kind of a Jund build of some kind. Go ahead and attack in, see if he's got anything, which he doesn't, so play our preacher and pass the turn. Binding. It's probably headed for the preacher, which is fine because I have the second one. I'm still kind of shocked to see a binding though. Like, I have no idea what this guy's playing at this point. Evitim, 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 evitim. Eve, Eve. What is your name, boy? Evidem. Evidem. Just say it really fast. Okay, and a raid. This is a crazy deck. I'm not sure what he's doing, but he's going to have to do something quickly. Because the wear of the faces is coming. For your face, Mr. Evidem. Say it really fast. Uh, I'm just going to... Yeah. Well, I passed the turn and j just in case he had something that was going to cause me problems, but um, he didn't, so... Alright. Play the wearer. That leaves me two mana open. 
for whatever I feel like doing, whether it be a go for the throat or a make disappear. I have all of them. Oh, yeah, like that one. Like, no, I'll, I'll keep my creatures, Evan. Alright, well, I, I'll just uh, pop the reef. And this is lethal, my friend. And he... Scoops. Alright. We are up against Zam Dam. He is... Um, Jean-Claude Van Damme's first cousin once removed. What... Oh, uh, being told it's twice removed. My bad. Uh, hand looks good. Looks like we're up against Orzov. Life gain. Uh, this will be a good test. Okay, I'm fine with that. Um, but it'll be a good test to see you. If uh, I can keep up, honestly, because this deck can get out of control. Alright. Uh. Alright. Right now, we are fine. Okay, okay. The priest is gone. Oh, that's not a priest of Gix, that's a different card. <laughs> Gix. Uh, oh, forget it. I don't even know where I was going there. Uh, I, I need to think. So I swung in there, just, you know, he's not going to block with any anything that he has here. I just wanted to see if I play land that turn. I, I wasn't actually going to play my Ottawa also. Voice of the Blessed. Uh, that. That. Is a no a fun? That is no fun, so we are going to get rid of that. Let's see here. Um attack in first he takes as expected Ugh. dear sir I would like to have some more lands please He may still not attack with the bats. Just to avoid losing one. Another bat. Oh my lord, how many are you going to draw this game? Zam damn, is this your kung fu? Is this your karate? Bat karate. Learned in the deep caves. Uh, so I'm doing this so I can draw. Okay, because I desperately need to draw cards. Um... Yeah. yeah. I'm 
just going to draw all the cards. Um, the more, the merrier. Yes. Now we will uh, play the schooner. And pass. I'm probably going to lose a shieldred this turn. Uh, he may take the Alcots because it is a flyer. He may uh, not play the bat at all. Which is very interesting. Like this. He's, what's he got? A, what was that priority for? A cut down? Has to be, right? Um, so, look at this board. Let's go. I am swinging all in. Um,. Just a second, let me think here. Yeah, I'll swing in with these four. Um, <laughs> who has the mighty board now, Orzov? big time because now I could play the bat and take his bat and my hand is safe unless he has something to kill my bat then my Alcots is doomed wow an Elish Norn I didn't expect that but not really anything I have to worry about I think Look at this board, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this board. Demir mid-range. Not just going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Orzov life gain deck. Mid-range, whatever. This one with Elish Norn. But it is the aggressor. It is the dominator. And if I can just draw something to get rid of that voice next turn, well, uh, there's nothing that Zam Dam can do. He can bring all his karate my way, but I, I have the better karate. Look across from you, Zam Dam, and know that you are facing your better. Know that when I come at you with everything here, that you will eventually fall. Um, let's think. Got Sometimes I just gotta stop going on my little rants because then I, I, I forget I'm playing. <laughs> Alright. He's got six blockers. One of them's a big one. Um, but these are how many Fs I give. Oh, and look at that. Perfect, see? This is what you do, ladies and gentlemen. It's this easy. You just draw the card.
that you need. Jean-Claude Zam Dam brought his finest karate, but it was not enough to take out the kumquat. Alright. This looks good. Get that bat down, find out what they're doing. Probably won't need to wait that long. Yep, little looks like the combo deck here. So um, it's got three mana. I'm just I have to get rid of the bitter triumph. It's the uh, it was really the only card I was able to take. Other anything else would have been useless, other than getting him to use that, which may not have been bad. It wouldn't have been terrible. Go ahead and bring my shoulder down now. Add some pressure. So we know what he's looking to do is drop something into the graveyard and then play reenact the crime so we want to uh okay we'll keep our stuff thank you so he's probably thinking you know I got him to use that counter but he doesn't know that I have the Urtai in hand He has to do what he's going to do this turn, or this game's over. And there's a portal, so, yeah. Easiest counter of our lives. Good game. Captain Cola, sailing across the sea, in comes a restless reef and uh, anyway, <laughs> I couldn't think of anything. I couldn't think of anything there. Um, yeah, so let's play the bat. <laughs> uh, all brutal's gone. Yeah. So it looks like he's playing a an Azorius creature deck, aggro deck, mid range deck, whatever. We'll get that preacher down. He's going to give him the sermon. And that is the sermon of the bat. That's where uh, Captain Nicola found himself. He was lost at sea and he found himself in a deep and dark cave where there was a preacher and he was screaming at the top of his lungs at the prophecy of the bat. Kind of makes me wish I was playing a caves deck just to make all of that go together. I love the caves deck. Maybe I'll have to make another one and bring it in. Sorry, I had to blow my nose there. <clears throat> Not that any of you can actually hear this, and I could have edited it out anyway, but whatever. When I go live, this is what it'll be like. I'll have to mute things to blow my nose and call. Uh, 
All right, so I think we are in good shape here against Captain Nicola. Uh, my name is Nicola. I am a Russian captain. And right now I don't know what to do. Oh, that was a terrible Russian accent. Don't ask me to do any impressions, because that uh, I obviously suck at. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, play the gigs so I can draw some cards. Because my hand's getting a little low. What's he gonna do? Ah! I am wondering if that had the effect he was wanting. I, thought, I wonder if he thought he was going to get his cards back. But he definitely uh, didn't have to worry about me drawing cards that turn, so that hindered me. But I think ultimately it will not be enough. He's, uh, he's out of gas. And I've got plenty left. Oh, well, he's, he found a gas station, but he only had a few dollars. wasn't enough for a gallon, sir. You are still in deep, deep trouble. You, sir, are in some deep, a deep trouble. Two, four, six, nine, nine next turn. Let's see what you got, Captain Nicola. I'm going to go ahead and pop this up into his hand. Um, and... Yeah, let's attack in. Oh, look, it gave me the thing back. With the bat. That was interesting. It waited until I attacked to do so. It was like, oh, wait, here, you need this. And we'll draw some cards. And I just realized that uh, I missed Lethal with the Reef, but it doesn't matter, because he scoops. Good game. Uh, yeah. Yes, I think I'll take it. It's Ulrich Von Nubel. He is a... Uh, distant cousin to Ulrich von Lichtenstein who uh, famously uh, didn't exist until he did and then with the rock and roll of Queen behind him took down all competitions in the night games and was able to win the love of the princess before he died by taking too much Adderall. Uh, so, I'm going to use the mirrors here for the blue, just to make him uh, think I have something, you know, other than Lazav. Right? Just joking. I'm going to play the siren also. <laughs> Okay, tack in, and uh, let's see what you got, Ulrich von Nubel. Better do something, because that princess, she's got her eye on me. She's got her eye on a me. Uh, I want to play the priest here. Uh, but... I think this is a better option. Not the priest, the the Gix, Yogmoth's Praetor. Um, and we'll go ahead and kill this. And we'll attack him. 
<sighs> okay, Alric. The ball is now in your court. Your life total is getting a little low. I'm interested to see what you have in them Naya collars. Okay. That's fine. There we go. It's cute. Thank you. I will draw one also. I appreciate it. Another Lazav. That's all the Lazavs in the deck. Right. I have yet to copy anything with Lazav. As of this point, he is a 2 3 for 2. That exiles cards from graveyards. Not bad, but. You know, I'm just waiting to be able to get one of them big guys. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna copy, uh. I don't know. One of the big dinosaurs. <laughs> anyway, anyway. My, uh, <clears throat> my, my mind went blank a little bit there trying to think. I gotta focus on this game. Ulrich von Nubo. Don't, uh, I apologize for that. Uh, my daughter just tried to call me on Facebook. Uh, and I had to shut it down. I probably shouldn't have had it. Facebook open knowing that that could possibly happen anyway I haven't figured out why she doesn't actually just call my number it's always on Facebook okay so he is doing his best Sometimes your best just isn't good enough. Let's draw a card. I need more gas. I am running out. He burnt off what gas I had. Oh, please, Dick. I need something more than lands. He's thinking very hard. Okay, uh, that's not going to stop me from winning, though. I appreciate you, Ulrich. But this time, good sir, I will not forget the reef. And now, I will crush you. I have played Ulrich multiple times. It, I, I don't know if we have regions, but he is somebody I've played so many times. Good game, Ulrich. Good game. This looks good. <clears throat> this looks good. Almost played the Reef first because I'm so used to playing Taplands first, but gotta get that Siren out. Get me a map token. Man, this guy's definitely playing some long game, judging by what land he's played so far. Titiana or Anissa deck. A lot of land shenanigans, probably. <sighs> so it means I'm going to have to be fast before he can actually start to stabilize and 
do something. Let's see what he's got in his hand. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, this is interesting. I guess I'll take this. I, I really don't know what else I should take there. Irisator, Irisator, Irisater. What in the world is that? What's it mean? Tell me, good sir. Uh, you know what? I bet this guy is gonna drop some kind of insidious roots mess on us. I just, I have a feeling. Now we're gonna keep uh, just uh, swinging in here for now. But I'm betting, I am betting that he dropped some kind of roots nonsense here. Yeah, that's fine. That is fine. I'm going to have to deal with those, at least the old, uh, the old sticky fingers or whatever his name is. The preacher here should help. I don't have the luxury of holding up mana for make disappear. The one thing I know that he has in his hand, he, he can't play yet. So, hopefully he has nothing. Maybe those two cards I can't see are just lands. That's what I'm hoping. Um, so I'm just, I'm blocking here to get rid of this. Uh, I don't think he has anything else at the moment. So, that was his big threat. And next turn I can play the, you know, Gix or even the, uh, probably the Gix, Gix to draw cards. But I can play the Alcots too if I need to. Okay. Uh-huh, see? I haven't seen uh, any roots, so maybe I was wrong about that. It just felt that way with some of the stuff he was sending to his graveyard. Uh, we're playing the Alcots here. Um, because four life every turn is is something that he's not going to be able to race with. Plus everything I have at the moment is flying. There's another old stick fingers. He's a big one too. Now I'm thinking possibly, probably should have played Gix and left open for a make disappear, but you know what? We're never punished. Bring down the Shieldred. Try to pump up my bat. Do so successfully. Even though we don't need that. And let's swing in. Let us swingeth ineth. Discard your card. Come on. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. He is now at five. Which means, actually, he's at three, but that means when I can take what he has to dish, and it does not matter. The only way he survives is through life gain, and I don't think he has it. Irisator, who I think was trying to say irresistible, but maybe, maybe it's just a unfamiliar word to him. What he is finding out is that the only one that is irresistible here is the kumquat. And that, sir, is a good game. Okay, Yoshiaki. Um, only two lands, but the hand is pretty spicy, I think. 
all I need to do is draw one more land. Just one. Obviously, I need more than one, but for right now, over the next few turns, we just want one of those draws to be a land. And we have several options to get there. Looks like Yoshiaki is possibly playing mono red. Let's see what he's got. Ho! Oh. Uh, okay, so, well, this is interesting. Now, he's not playing mono red, clearly. It doesn't matter what I take here, clearly. Um,. This is the second deck in Naya Collars. That is playing the All Will Be One card. Like, is that a deck out there? Somebody let me know in the comments below if that is circulating. Maybe I'll uh, take a look at it and give it a shot. Let's stop it right there. I tell you what's happening here is I'm able to save my bat for a couple turns, which is good. Um, maybe I should have taken the lightning helix now. I guess that's another lesson, you know, even when you think it doesn't matter, just go ahead and take what you wanted to take anyway. I'll leave that on top. Uh, it can draw me cards. And I can play it, so. I'm just kind of wondering if I'm setting myself up here for a wipe, board wipe. I don't know if this deck is going to play that or not. I guess this is the, only the second time I've seen a Naya all will be one deck. And, uh,. They were both today, so. And the other one didn't do anything, really, except play all will be one and then died. <laughs> so, um, the late, great Ulrich Von something, I can't actually read Von Nubel, yes, Ulrich Von Nubel. That was his name. All right, well... I tried to go the map route, and it was not the right way to go. So, we'll play the schooner. Play the schooner. Maybe should have played it uh, last turn or something. I honestly should have played the Gix last turn. I kind of really hindered myself there. Uh, but we took that two lander. We said we just needed one more land and that is what the deck has <laughs> decided to give us. Um, so now we'll play the Gix. I can crew the schooner here. Yep. So I ended up saving my back completely. <laughs> I should have taken a lesson. Lesson B for everyone. When you are going to bat and they have more than one removal in their hand, always take what you were going to take anyway. Always take what you go were going to take anyway because it's two removals doesn't guarantee that they are going to remove your bat. Usually it does. But sometimes, just sometimes, you're able to put things out there that they feel they need to get rid of more desperately. And it will save that bat. Okay. So this is going just like Ulrich's game did. Um, and there's another land. Good. So... Yeah, I mean, he's he was able to get the all will be one down, but what what is 
what is that going to do for him going forward? That's that's where I'm at. That is where I am at with this. Um, all right, so. see here go ahead and attack in and then I just I just play the shoulder oh actually what I should have done there was played the shield and activated the schooner he would have been at two and he would have died on his turn it didn't matter because he scooped but for next time we're always learning good game alrighty everyone I hope that you enjoyed those games I sure did and I think I'm gonna keep playing this deck try to see what I can tinker around with it to make it better anyway let me know in the comments below what you think about the deck and uh, what you would do differently I really really would appreciate it so until next time, if you're driving down the road and you see a poor, helpless little kumquat struggling on the side of the road, make sure you give him a like and a subscribe because it will really help his channel out and he's trying to get to 50. We are only 14 away. Also, that kumquat would be a delicious and tasty snack. Take care, my friends.